Hey guys, this is Confetti King. Um, this is my updated video. I've had him a little over a month now. Um, he wasn't started when we got him. Um, if he if he was, he was very lightly. So um, anyway, it, he didn't have much on him. Um, we started from the ground up. I've done my 30 day program with him, just like I would any horse. Um, except he didn't really get as much training as I wanted to put on him um, for a couple of reasons why. Um, on the first video, you'll see on the introduction video, you'll see a little video where I say meet Confetti King. And on there, you'll see where I talk about how he's got rain rod on him. And I just had him a few days. He came like that. Um, he had rain rod on him and uh, he was underweight. Uh, and, he's, and he's small anyway. He's a small horse anyway. So uh, with the rain rot and him being underweight and all that, you know, I had to, had to really work on doctoring him more than I did to get to ride him and train him. Um, so uh <clears throat> we put the mtg on him and got the rain rod all cleared up and and all that now he looks really good uh but during the during the uh, training uh process you know um at times where that rain rot was so severe on him uh we couldn't hardly ride him because uh it would irritate him uh his back where the saddle and stuff was set um you know it, it was uh was eat up the rain rot so bad so I had to wait and let Hara come in there. Um, so in the meantime, we just done a lot of groundwork with him, a lot. Um, we just extended that out. Anyway, um, <clears throat> he, uh, the time that we did turn him, uh, you know, he, he walks on a loose rein. He'll come over, you snap your finger, come out over that mining block like he's supposed to, pick you up. Uh, walks off on loose rein, he'll lope on loose rein, no hands. He does all that. Um, he also gates. We have, we only asked him for gate a few times. He, he is a gated, he's a gated horse. I didn't even know he was, but I, I always ask him, like I say, you know, I always try all these horses out to see, uh, you know, just really what they are. Um, and he is got it. He does got a gate. Um, and there's a little video there. It's a, it's a screen recording of whenever we had him gating uh, a few days into our training the first time um, before I had to put him off a little while to let the rain right heal on him. Anyway, so there is a gate there. Um, <clears throat> it's not, you have to push him into his gate. So it's nothing that I focused on. I wouldn't, I do, you know, if I train horses every day for people. Um, if you bring me one in here that, to, to start under saddle, my goal is not to teach it gate. My goal is to teach it everything else. Put a foundation on this horse before I start asking gate. Now, some of them, obviously, you know, you're seeing these videos we're putting out 30 days under saddle and they're gating right along, but they, them horses just fall into it on their own. I'm not asking them for nothing. I'm not having to teach them nothing. They just do it on their own. And, you know, and if that's the case, then we, we, we let them gate. <clears throat> this horse don't. He, uh, you know, he is a cross. He's a happy, uh, rocky cross, so he, he, he can trot too. And he would prefer to trot and just trot along. Um, so we let him, you know, uh, and that's fine. It's like I said, we're just building the foundation. So he right now he's got a walk, trot, and a canter, a real good. Okay, he's he's got a real good walk, trot, and canter on him, and the gate is there. If you but you got to push him into it. And I'm not going to push this horse. First of all, like I said, we'll go back to he's tiny, he's underweight. Uh, he had ran right. He got way too many other problems to worry about a gate. Uh, we did ask him for gate just a few times just to see if he was gated, and he is. So okay. So now we got him, he's healed up, he's got weight on him, um, he's got a good foundation on him. He's ready to start probably in the next week, probably maybe two weeks from now, he's ready to start really developing into his gait. Um, he understands pressure, all that, everything's there. Like, you know, you've seen backing up under saddle and all that. All that's there, all the foundation's there. Um, and, and, you know, I train him just like I would anybody else's horse. Uh, if, if you sent me one up here like this I, and he was a little on the trotty side or whatever, I'm not going to force him into a gate for a while, not until he's ready. Um, in my opinion, he's going to be ready within the next couple of weeks to start asking for his gate. So this is what we got so far, guys. We're, like I said, we're doing a walk, trot, and canter type deal with him out here. Um, but that does not mean he's not gated because he is gated and I do put that in the video. Um, he's got four little keg shoes on him all around uh, his feet. He's got immaculate feet. He's healthy. Um, I've wormed him out. I've given him every vaccine you can uh, ask for. I told the vet to give him the works. They come down here and give him the works. Um, this this son of a gun, it was eat up of worms. Um, he's 13.2 hands tall right now. He's four years old. I'm going to guess four years old. Uh, he ain't got a full mouth yet. Um, and I would imagine that he's, I think he's stunted just a little. 
Um, I think this horse is mature according to his knees and the measurements that I got. I think he'll make a 14 hand horse. That's what I think he'll mature at. Obviously, you know, he's going to broaden and all that stuff. So he's just behind a little bit because he hasn't been taken good care of. And you, everybody's seen that. You know, he's he, he just drained rotten. He's skinny and just just pitiful looking, really. But anyway, um, he, he was a project and uh, I took him to be one. And uh, he's gorgeous. And I don't care if I got to keep him for a year. It don't, doesn't matter to me. I like him. Uh, everybody comes in the barn and likes to look at him. And he's gentle, easy to catch, and all that stuff. So he's, he's really a pleasure to have. So anyway, guys. Um, it's it's important to me to find him a home, a good home, a good fit, uh, more than it is to try to push him off on somebody. But here he is, guys. Um, he's green broke. He's got my 30 days of training on him. Um, <clears throat> like I said, it took us a little longer than 30 days. I, I want to say his horse has probably got about, yeah, he had to set off a week or so. I'm going to say he's got about two and a half weeks of training on him. Um, if I was training his horse, putting 30 days on him for anybody else, um, I would not send him home yet. I would say, well, look, I'm not finished yet. That's just where I, you know, that's, I don't, I don't have my 30 days on him yet. Okay. Sometimes you send a horse to training here anyway. Um, if I, if something happens in the middle of training and I can't get my 30 days on him, he just stays longer. I try to, you know, try to get him to let him stay longer, whatever, but I'm not going to send something home to you that's not, not ready. But anyway, um, I've extended this one's offer time one time before for a couple of weeks because of this issue. Uh, just didn't really get him where I wanted him at, and I don't want to get on here and extend it again. I really, I kind of do, but I don't. I'm just going to try to sell him. Um, but like I said, it doesn't matter if he don't sell. Just, just know that he's going to be right here with us. He's going to train. We're going to make a horse out of him. Um, he's really not, still not where I want him at uh, in my 30 days. Um, but you know, time's here. He sells Monday, and this is what we got so far. So here he is. Thank uh -huh. 